Howdy everyone, I hope you're well and looking forward to episode 167 of Regen Ravers where today we're going to be playing three cup matches. Firstly, the second leg of our first knockout round of the Champions League against Monaco at home and then away from home against Leicester in the FA Cup quarterfinal and then we're going to be taking on our old friends, our old rivals, Winchester City in the Hampshire Senior Cup semi-final. That's just a, a bonus match for you. You might not want to watch it, but hopefully there'll be plenty of goals scored by some of our reserve and young players. Anyway, Monaco first. Of course, we beat them 3-0 in the first leg, so we really should be 3 to the quarter-final, but let's just confirm it. Since you left, me, being a bit of a, a blip of late, we haven't scored for three games. We did beat Arsenal 2-1 in the match after the Monaco game. This was a good win, really, against a team looking for a top four spot. Who scored the first goal? I can't remember. Was it Van den Broek? It was Kalechi. Safet Kalechi with the opening goal. Was that a uh, Rabona? Rabona cross from Kotasek. Feel like it was. Impressive. And uh, Van den Broek got the second goal of the game for us, firing in from a Safet Kalechi assist. So that was a good result. We then managed to beat Newcastle 2-1. Kefren Real scored from a corner. Stonking header, but it didn't go in. So he smashed it in on the rebound. And then Anthony confirmed the victory in injury time. Nice finish from a Suffolk Kalechi cross. Uh, and then after that, 0-0 draw against Everton. 1-0 defeat against second place Man United. 0-0 draw against Leicester. But we're still third in the Premier League. One point above Man City. Two points above fifth place Arsenal. So it is tight. Certainly haven't confirmed a fourth place yet with eight games to go in the league. Uh, Spurs have run away with the league title game. They're 12 points above us. They have lost a couple games this year. They are... I mean, there's a chance Man United could overtake them, of course, but it, it does look like Spurs will win another league title. Anyway, let's get on with today's first match. In goal, we're going with Antonello Laurent, Rodriguez Gale and Matt Smith at the back. Unfortunately, Rios has picked up an injury. He's out for up to three more weeks. Lens up to three weeks. We've had an injury hit season. This is like the first real injury hit season we've had. Novak, Van der Broek, Kodasek and Simon Moore, our January signer. Of course, he's only actually played three games because he had a bit of an injury. And I've been rotating. I should probably put out a slightly weaker team today, but I want to confirm things. The only weaker player in the team is old Mark Ball and he loves a big game doesn't he so hopefully he's up for this one with his new grey hair he still hasn't scored in the Premier League this season he scored a Champions League goal three FA Cup goals and a Hampshire Senior Cup goal so it's not really been his season to be honest Monaco team then let's just have a quick look he looks good he's actually got uh, he, he's got grey hair as well hasn't he this chap yeah similar he look, almost looks the same as Mark Ball actually look at that that is very similar Mark Ball's doppelganger. And they've still got Pietro Pellegri, of course. We remember him from the last match. We had such a good game in France, didn't we? Let's continue it. I know we haven't scored for three games, but there's been a bit of rotation going on. There's been some tired legs. There's been some little injuries. There's been some bigger injuries. And we've not been able to have a settled team, which has been a bit unfortunate, but it's just one of those things. First chance of the game. Then Matt Smith gives it away, but he's won it back. Here's Simon Moore into Kotasek. He's been sensational this season. He really has improved the midfield. Novak crosses it in and Navarrete heads over the bar. I mean, before I was I wasn't I couldn't seem to get the central midfielders to really get good ratings and perform. They they were important for the team. But Kotasek's come in and he's on a 7.24 average rating this season, which is unbelievable for our central midfield because like I said, it's been really hard to get good average ratings. He's certainly a player of the season contender. Here we go then. Been a boring game so far. Ten shots to us, one to them. But here come Monaco looking to get a goal back. We've got three away goals, remember. So they're going to have to win by... Well, they're going to have to at least score three away goals, aren't they? And hope we don't score. That's out wide. To Nelson, crosses it in. And they have got a goal back. And I think it's an own goal from Mark Gale. Yeah, it is. It's disappointing. They've literally not... They've had one shot, zero shots on target. And they're winning one now. Being FM'd. We haven't scored for three and a half games. It's awful. Aggressive. Far from pleased. Moore's going to push up. 60 minutes on the clock. They've still not had a shot on target, but they're winning one now. We've had 10 shots on target. 
We've not seen anything, but still, we shouldn't be losing 1-0. Here's Novak. Charging at the back line. Crosses it in. It's headed away as far as Navaretti. He turns and finds Simon Moore. And Kotasek now on the ball. A Mexican midfielder to Vandenbroek. To Novak. Novak cuts in. Has the shot. Oh, how have we not scored? I've gone very attacking. This is just ridiculous. We've been so dominant. Here's Kotasek. Vandenbroek. Into Novak again. Novak crosses it in. Back to Novak. Navaretti surely. There we go. 1-1. One, one. 18th goal of the season for Navaretti. who's had a bit of a goal drought lately. I, he reached 17 goals ages ago, I think. Because I remember when he broke his uh, his record from last season. And it was... I can't, I can't even remember the last time he scored. Here's Laurent with a throw to Kotasek. Back to Laurent. Crosses it deep. Simon Moore at the back post. It's over everyone and smashed clear. Right, we're bringing on Serenity, giving him a run out. And uh, Mark Ball is just not doing it for us this year. He's got old, he's got slow, he's got grey. He's gone grey. And uh, he's still got, scored five goals this season, though. Here's Serenity. Delightful ball to Matt Smith. That froze for a second, that was weird. Navaretti! Missing from there. Another throw in. Matt Smith just. Gives it away. It's to Serenity again. To Matt Smith. Deep cross. Novak to Vandenbroek who fires it wide. How are we not winning this game? Simon Moore's had a poor game. We're going to bring on to Sakovic. Come on. Push up everyone. Laurent into Novak. Still got it on very attacking which is probably suicidal let's be honest. Alex for, for Monaco. Perhaps we should go back to just attacking. And Navaretti's through. Navaretti to win it. And there we go. Navaretti with two goals today. Surely that's enough because they've done absolutely nothing. And we definitely deserve to win this game. With all the shots we've had. We've, we've just struggled lately to score goals. Not sure why, but it's good to have Navaretti. I, I mean, it's so important that he's back scoring because he's our most important player. In an attacking sense anyway. Matt Smith, we're pummeling them now, aren't we? Headed away. Oh, if they score on the counter here. Look at them go. Come on, lads. Hack him down. There we go. Esidora Rodriguez. Great defending. Novak now. Into Rodriguez. Back to Novak. Knocks it long. Looking for Anthony. Anthony's onto it. Navaretti on a hat-trick. And he gets it. His 20th goal of the season. Signed off in style. Great counter-attack. Anthony with the assist. And that is more like it. A 3-1 scoreline. Lovely stuff. I mean, Novak just smashed it long. It's a perfectly weighted ball over the top for Anthony. And he did the right thing in passing to Navaretti. And he was clinical. Here come Monaco, though. Looking for a second. Whew, that was powerful, wasn't it? They still only had one shot on target. But they didn't even score from that one, of course. So, looking forward to the FA Cup quarterfinal. It'd be lovely if we can win that competition again, wouldn't it? Of course, we won it. Was it three seasons ago now? Can't even remember. Was it the first year in the Premier League? Feel like it was. Good times. Well, good win in the end. Struggled for, what, 65 minutes of the game and then we came alive. This is exciting. It's time for the quarter-final draw of the Champions League. Unfortunately, Spurs did make it through in the end. Along with Real Madrid, Man United, Atletico Madrid, PSG, Juventus and Arsenal. This is tough. Really tough. And we're going to get... Oh, no. Oh, we're getting Real Madrid. It always freezes just before it draws your team. I'm glad I've avoided Spurs because they really are a bogey team. I don't know. I mean, we beat Real Madrid, of course, didn't we? Earlier in the summer. Our first ever game in the Mark Ball Park. It was called the Region River Stadium at the time. But still, in our brand new stadium, our first ever win was against them. 4-0 absolutely mutilated them. Uh, I think it was probably the very start of their pre-season, to be fair to them. But I think they had some good players. But, yeah, looking forward to that one. Oh, kind of. It's huge. It's, it's massive. I mean, the, where we've come from. And suddenly we're playing Real Madrid in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. That is special, isn't it? It's FA Cup quarterfinal day then. A big day for the club. And Leicester are in the relegation zone in the Premier League. So we should be beating them. But they've got some decent players. Remember Gasper? He's pretty good. Portuguese international, captain of the club. The most assists this season is from Marcus Cook, a Welsh international. I've made a couple of changes, uh, three changes, 
And Adrian Smith has come in in goal, giving him some match time in the FA Cup. Peter Boyce has come in for Matt Smith because he's tired. And Safet Kalechi has come in for Mark Ball up front. We should win this. But that doesn't mean anything, does it, in football? Anything can happen, as we know. I do just want to shout out Kotasek, our Mexican central midfielder. He's been been sensational this season, hasn't he? Wait, did I talk about him in the last match? I've forgotten. I've literally forgotten what I talked about in the last match. Did I mention... Did I talk about him in... I don't know. Either way, Kotasek's been great this season. I'll shout him out again. I can't remember. Ten minutes ago. Oh, this is an early chance. Is out wide to Simon Moore. Crosses in. Navaretti off the post. Off the crossbar, sorry. And Leicester, in their classic Leicester way, can counter-attack. They don't have Jamie Vardy anymore, but they've got Gasper. And Gasper's through, and it's crossed in. And Vassalo turns to White. Crossed back in, headed away by Boyce. And the highlight's still going here. Surely it's going to... There we go, it's gone. Oh, a throwing opportunity here. We tend to be fairly... We either give the ball away from a throw-in, or we score a goal. Here's Van den Broek. Van den Broek into Simon Moore. Uh, oh, he's still on it. Here he goes. More. Ooh, just over or just wide. Or both dominant display from us again so far. Let's get creative. So we gave the ball away that time. And here go Leicester on the counter. They've not, they've not had a shot yet. But Simon Moore intercepts that nicely. Into Mark Gale. To Boyce. Boyce looks uh, great as well, doesn't he? Here's Kotasek. Oh, what is that? What, what are you... Just praise G. Why have you just run? Maybe it's because I've said run at defence. That causes problems, I suppose. Maybe I'll switch that off. That's poor. Don't like that. Mark Gale. Into Isidora Rodriguez, who pummels it up the pitch, looking for Safik Kalechi. And we've just given the ball away. And here come Leicester again. Vasalo Into Gasper. 1 0. Gets to run a play. So irritating. Again, second game in a row. I'm going attacking. Going to push the wingers up again. See if that makes a difference. Here's a highlight, possibly. Simon Moore. Into Kotasek. Is he going to have the shot? He is. Oh, 1-1. One, one. Lovely stuff. Good goal from Ivan Kotasek, our Mexican central midfield. It worked in the end. You know, he gave the ball away, but he scored a goal after I praised him. I think first assist for Simon Moore as well. Or did he get an assist in the last game? I can't remember. I literally can't remember. The Monaco game now. Can we get a second before the half-time whistle? Here's Kotasek again. Into Novak. Lovely ball out wide to Simon Moore. And that's well defended by Leicester. And they can counter with Gasper. He's so dangerous looking. He cuts inside. Oh no. There's open players. It's good defending in the end. I think I might pull back Novak actually. We'll leave Moore up there. Well, we've been dominant, but it's only 1-1. I think there's extra time in the quarterfinal of the FA Cup these days, isn't there? Hmm. Not happening. 61 minutes on the clock. And here come Le Leicester Perez. Gone all the way back, though, to their defence. Rack smashes it. Where's Laurent there? Oh, no, it's back to him. Oh, Adrian Smith, that was straight at you. That's not happening for us. I'm actually going to bring Anthony on for Navarretti's on a yellow. And, we yeah, we we're... Bring on the pace of Anthony. See if that makes a difference. We don't deserve to be losing this. But we are. 20 minutes to go. They've had four shots. And they've not. I mean, they, Well, they have created chances to be fair. But uh, four shots and they're winning. To be fair, they've created more chances than us. Although we've had shots. They've not been good attempts, I suppose. Isidoro Rodriguez should have mopped this up for breakfast. There we go. He turns, finds Lauren. There's no urgency here, but well, there we go. Smashed up. Oh, it's headed on. Anthony's after it. He can't get on the end of that, and that's cleared. Mark Gale into to Moore, but he can't win the ball. Uh, Gasper. Oh, no. Oh, dear. This is poor. We're crashing out the FA Cup in the quarterfinal against a team in the relegation zone in the Premier League. It really is a poor display from us. Got some tired legs out there. Ah, oh, make some changes. I suppose we'll go very attacking. Well, it was a very positive win against Monaco in the end. But it's a similar game in a sense that we've had 
our fair share of possession and shots, but we've just not created enough. And we've not scored enough, and we're losing. And defensively poor. Maybe if I'd played Antonello in goal, it would have been a bit different. Here's Safik Kalechi. What is that? Why have you skied it so high? Well, we should end with a positive win against Winchester City and get through to another Hampshire Senior Cup final. But it's a shame. I was really hoping we could win a sort of domestic cup this year. But our best hope is, once again, the Hampshire Senior Cup, which doesn't really count, and the Champions League, which is going to be incredibly tough. So we might end this season without a trophy. Hopefully a top four spot. But that is just not good enough from us. So here we are in Winchester. Long old journey for us. We're at Winchester's proper ground, the city ground. Of course, they played for many years at Plumbing Park when they were promoted to the National League South. Did they get up to the... Na I don't think they went up to the actual National League. Or did they? I can't remember. Either way, they, they played at Plumbing Park, didn't they? But they have moved back here. I don't know if they eventually renovated this place because I thought that was what they were doing when they were in Plumbing Park. But they stayed with us for years, didn't they? Uh, which was a little bit irritating. Uh, where even are Winchester these days? Which They're in the Southern League Division 1. So I think... On West. I think they're in the a division below where we started. They've really dropped back down again, haven't they? They're a nice golden age, did Winchester City. But when we got promoted to the Football League, they started to really plummet. So yeah, their team's pretty awful. <laughs> um, but I've put out a weak team as well, but it should be better. David Okoro, 34 years old now. He's going to be in goal. He's our Hampshire Senior Cup goalkeeper. Reese Guppy, who's played lots of football in this competition over the years. He's still at the club. He's never played a first-team game other than the Hampshire Senior Cup, I don't think. But he seems to like this competition. Philip Thomas alongside him, 21 years old. Now he's actually our fourth-choice centre-back these days since Will Loder left. He's featured in two Premier League games in his few seasons here. He played quite recently, actually, in a nil -nil, one of the 0-0 draws. Uh, alongside him is Gavin McDowell, a 17-year-old, with a bit of potential as well. He's probably our fifth best centre-back at the club. Uh, Aloisi could apparently play centre-back, but yeah, actual centre-backs, he's our fifth best. And making his debut bright, Amanuki, who is a new recruit, I think. Uh, yeah, he must be, actually has absolutely no potential really well he does have potential but absolutely no current ability but I don't really have any options there's a few players on international duty but the players in the under 18s a lot of the new players ineligible I don't know if the if there's a under 18s game being played I'm not entirely sure Ian Hamilton on the right hand side now he has played uh two he played twice in the Hampshire Senior Cup this year I think unless that's that might be a different competition. I don't know. Gary Whittingham's playing in central midfield. Now, he's a striker that's he's scored a few goals for us, actually, hasn't he? He scored um, five last year in the Hampshire Celia Cup. And this year, he, oh, he hasn't scored this year. But he scored goals for the under-23s. He's playing in central midfield. Serenity alongside him. You all know him. Uh, Tosakovic, you all know him. He's on the left. Didn't really have any other options. Thomas Gregory up front alongside club captain Mark Ball. I probably will have to change the captain next season, won't I? Realistically, if we do another season, of course. I am going to make Gregory a advance, an advance forward, and Ball will be a poacher. We'll change that up because no, none of them can play as uh, complete forwards. Anyway, let's get on with this. I've rambled for long enough, but it's good to play Winchester City again, isn't it? I think we've played them in the odd friendly. But we haven't played a competitive match against them for a while. I don't think. Oh, did we face him in the Hampshire Senior Cup last year? I can't remember. But it's nice to show. There's a bit of a bonus. Oh, we've. Oh, it's disallowed. <laughs> offside, apparently. Uh, how's that possible? I'm guess. Oh, Thomas Gregory must have been offside and in front of. Yeah. What's he doing there for? I suppose he's marking the keeper. Let's go attacking. Let's get creative. We don't tend to score too many goals against sort of the slightly better teams in this competition when I put out a weaker team. Here's Emanuki. Oh, a decent long throw, but it, it unfortunately falls to one of their players in the end. Uh, Thomas, Philip Thomas should have this covered. One of the better players in the team today. Okoro. Penalty taking King. Lumps it long. Oh, headed on by Gary Whittingham, but that's given possession to Winchester City. McDowell into Amaniki. Knocks it long. Gives it away again. 
and Winchester City have a bit of possession but Dusakovic takes over his quality shines through and he goes for the long shot curls it wide I don't know why he didn't play that through to Mark Ball long throw opportunity from Guppy it's into the box headed away Serenity takes charge Serenity Hamilton oh he scores Ian Hamilton one of the well two worst players in the team him and well down the right hand side we're very weak but we've scored Gary Whittingham with the assist Lovely, lovely jubbly. Don't think I've ever said lovely jubbly. Well, maybe I did when I was about eight. That's a nice finish. Free kick opportunity here. 37 minutes in. We've not done anything else. That's okay. Here's McDowell. Finds Mark Ball. Sixth goal of the season. Clinical. He's still, he's still got it in front of goal. He just needs to get into those positions, doesn't he? And one of our centre-backs sets him up quite nicely, actually. It was good play from him. Took the, the free kick shot, which was a bit strange. But then Hamilton played it back to Guppy, knocked it long. And this is great play and a nice finish. And we're beating our rivals comfortably here. They've actually had more possession, strangely. Took it, David Okoro will come for that. What is he doing? <laughs> Mind games from Okoro. What is he doing? Why are you taking so long? Oh, he's just messing with the Winchester. He loves it. I mean, he's he's obviously our highest appearance make appearance maker. Is that a word? Appearance maker. That makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. So he he knows what this is all about. This rivalry. Mark Ball again. Good save. And I mean, he lives in Winchester, and he he just loves t toying with the Winchester City fans, the ones that haven't converted to being Region Rovers fans. There's surely most people would have converted to being Region Rovers fans by now. Let's be honest. Because Winchester City don't really have many fans anyway, I don't think, as a football club. I'm surprised there's this number of people here with that many shirts. I mean, have they ever sold that many shirts in their history? Perhaps I'm doing them a disservice here. Probably am, um, being a bit mean, sorry. If there's any Winchester City fans watching, I apologise. Still 2-0 up. It's been a comfortable game. It's been nice just to reminisce. About this rivalry. Mark Ball's through again. Mark Ball. That's a poor finish from him. You may be wondering who Pears is on the bench. If you may have noticed his name. He's uh I can't click on him. Why can't I click on him? There we go. Stephen Pears. 16-year-old goalkeeper. One-star current ability. Two-star potential. Not bad at all, really. Here's Emaniki again. Chucks it into the box. Don't really need to make any subs. I've got some good players on the bench, but... I'd like to, to trust these players out there. Guppy into Tisakovic. Runs at the defence, crosses it in all the way over to Ian Hamilton, who also crosses it in. And Thomas Gregory straight into the hands of Sims. Thomas, Serenity now. Look at him go, Serenity. Nice play. Fires it over the bar. Well, it's not been the most exciting game. We want more goals. Thomas Gregory turns into Thomas. To Mark Ball. To Gregory again, and he fires it wide. I might swap him with Whittingham, give Whittingham a chance up front. Why not? What can he do? He's a pr oh, he's a pressing forward, apparently. Let's try him as a pressing forward. Uh, I think I will throw a Loisy on, actually, for Gregory. Corner, Dusakovic takes it. Back post, Thomas. Oh, it's dropped, and it's fired in by the substitute, Andrea Aloisi. Fifth goal of the season for him. And it looks like it's going to finish 3-0 here. Shall I chuck on pairs for his debut? Why not? Off comes a core. Oh, actually, let's put a core up front. Why not? Mark Ball's going to come off. He's got his goal. Agra will come on. Shall we bring Agra on? No, Ray Henriquez. Well done, Emaniki, on your debut. Did well at right back, I suppose. David Coro up front as the advanced forward. Actually, he's playing as a poacher, isn't he? Even better. Winchester City looking to get a consolation goal against our new goalkeeper. King to Crittenden. And they get it. Pairs on to the pitch and within a minute concedes on his debut. Couldn't do much about that. Nice play from Winchester City to get their goal. Give the fans a cheer. I mean, we, we, we just thought, we'll be kind. We'll let them have a goal. Ray Henriquez to take a free kick. And he, why does it freeze sometimes before it goes in the back of the net? It's a bit irritating. Nice free kick. Keeper probably should have done better. Yeah, it's, it's on target, but I don't know what the keeper's doing. Well, I wanted to see Okoro sort of have some sort of play up front, but we didn't. 
We didn't get to see that. Reese Guppy, man of the match left, but that's pretty random. I don't remember seeing him do much, to be honest. But it's fine. 4-1 win. Solid win against our rivals. We're into another Hampshire Senior Cup final as well. Would have been nice if that was the final, to be honest, wouldn't it? Who are we going to take on in the final, then? Uh, oh, Eastley, that's nice as well. Ah, Eastley haven't really done much in this competition. Where are they? They're in, oh, wow, they're really low down. What the hell has happened to them? They've been... So they're in, the, yeah, the National League. Oh, so is that the same division as Winchester City? I don't know. I'm intrigued now. I want to look. Oh, it's so slow these days. So Winchester, uh, Eastley are... Where are Eastley? I can't see them. I'm blind. Where are they? They're not in that division then. They're in the division above. I'm really confused. I, I am. I am. Wait. Let's let me go back and see which division they're in. The Southern Premier League South. Is this the one I was looking at? Western. Uh, oh, there they are in the middle. They're kind of camouflaged. I don't know why. I have no idea. They really, they really had a poor time, haven't they? All the way down there They're in the National League. Well, we should be beating them anyway. Definitely now that they're all the way down there. Corey will play in the final, of course. Mike Wall will probably play in the final as well. Overall, I mean, it's, I'm disappointed we've crashed out the FA Cup. That was a really poor display, but really good win against Monaco in the end. Hattrick from Navarrete. Form win against our rivals. Next up, we've got Wolves in the Premier League, Liverpool, Huddersfield, then Real Madrid. And we're going to play Southampton as well in that episode. So it's going to be Real Madrid, the two Real Madrid matches with Southampton sandwiched in the middle. Another local rival, of course. Friendly rival, I like to think. And there's not much football left to go after that. Obviously, if we get through, we're in the Champions League semi-final. But that is a big if. But thank you for watching today's episode. Plenty of goals for you today. Until next time, enjoy FM19, enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you very soon.